a cigarette. Oh, don't worry, though. I'm not addicted. Yet. Does anyone really care anymore? No. I don't think anyone really does. What is this? What is any of this? How do I know that this isn't fake? How do I know what is really happening? How is time even relevant to anything anyway? If I left here, right now, and flew four hours that way, I wouldn't even know what time it was until I landed. What time is it in Kenya? What time is it in Hokkaido? Time doesn't matter. And time doesn't exist in this world. There is only space. And space only matters when you have things to fill it with. And sadly, I don't have anything to fill it with. And space only matters when you can explore. When you can take in new sights and sounds, and you can taste the air and feel the wind on your face. But here I am, trapped inside my mind, thinking endlessly about nothing that matters. I really use that cigarette. But too bad, cigarettes don't exist in this world. So where am I? What the hell is going on? There isn't any dust here. There isn't any light. Well, there's this weird dim light. But I'm filled in this dimly lit box where there are only a few things that I can think of. All like this. Isn't he beautiful? I have loved him for three years, but he doesn't know. He won't never know because here I am, trapped. I can make him do whatever I want here. Anything I think, he'll do it. I can make him say anything I want, like this. You are beautiful as always. See, I can do anything except have a conversation with him because you see, he can only do things that I think, he can only say things that I think. <laughs> I know I can't love him. I, I know that. And I know that he can't love me. At least, not in this world. I can have anything I want in this world except for the things that I desperately want. Like, to know how I got here, or a way to escape. I don't even know how I got here at all. It just feels like I fell asleep one day and never woke up. Not positive as to what happened at all. Get out. Get out right now. Why? Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember his name or my name or my parents or how the hell I got here? But there's nothing left for me to do but sit here.
I used to just love watching the smoke. The smoke is always so, so beautiful and so enchanting. Not that I condone smoking. It's a disgusting habit and it'll probably be the death of me, but I can't help it. It was a friend I never had to talk to, but it was a friend that listened so well. I hate that I don't have anyone to talk to. Do you know what it's like not having anyone to talk to for what seems like years? And now here I am, pouring my heart out to nothingness, like an idiot. So I must be an idiot. Please, I send away that boy again. At least when he's here, there's someone to yell at. <laughs> say something interesting. How can I say something interesting? You are a sick, twisted individual, you know that? You use me for your own entertainment. So much so that I am sick of you right now. And I'm nothing but a figment of your personality, spun out of a tiny little piece of your memory. I only know what you know, so stop acting like I know who's at fault for all of this. Don't act so superior to me. Don't act like you're the queen of this realm because I despise the way you you hit me and you kiss me. I'm happy when you call for it. I'm also terrified of what you might do next. Have you ever stopped to consider that your actions might have a greater effect on, on both of us? Slapping the man you love. Is that healthy? Are you healthy? You sit here and talk about how much you need another cigarette, and then you complain about how nothing is relevant. You know what? You're pathetic. But it doesn't matter. Because I'm just a part of you. How can I be saying any of this without you thinking it? So don't get angry. Why? Because deep down, down inside, you know that everything that I just said was true. Do you know something else? I'm leaving. Wait. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I think I'll just wake up. We're still on side of the cover. It's beginning to look hopeless. No, we can't lose hope yet. That young man comes to see her every day. I see him coming in now. We should give him some alone time. There must be something between those two. And then he always comes with a gift for her. They talk for hours. All the nurses let him stay after hours just to talk to her. It's odd. <coughs> yeah, he did save her after all. Tell me what happened again. Well, he said that. I said that we'd been friends for a good three years. We went to school together. One night I was going to go tell her. I drove to her house, flowers in hand, and I walked confidently up to the door, and that's when I smelled the smoke. I was coming up from the second floor of her house, and I thought that she was just cooking. She's a terrible cook. She always starts to make something and forgets about it and burns all the food. But, uh, she wasn't cooking. She wasn't wearing the apron with the flowers on the sides and the hummingbird over her heart. She certainly wasn't humming. She loved to hum when she worked. And when she drew. She was amazing at drawing. I used to sit and draw with her for hours. But anyway, smoke coming from the second floor. I, I knocked on the door and when there wasn't any response, I, I tried to open it, but it was locked. So I, I grabbed the spare key from the third flower pot on the porch and I walked inside. And the first floor was all on fire. There were flames spilling out from the top of the staircase, and then I saw it. Crumples of the heap at the bottom of the stairs. There was this huge gash on her forehead, and there was a pool of blood. And I tried to wake her up, but she didn't respond, so I called 911, and they took her to the hospital. I later found out that she had probably fallen asleep while smoking. 
on how the house caught on fire. They told me that she must have woken up to the room in flames. That she probably tried to escape, she slept and fell down the stairs. They couldn't save much of her house and all her possessions burnt away. I've been now it sounds really stupid, but I've been trying to replace everything that she lost in the fire so that so that when she wakes up we can pretend nothing happened. Then it was just a huge nightmare, you know. I, I bought her the house next door, they're almost identical, and then I've been printing out her photos from online. Of course I can't replace the ones she never posted, but 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 I know and I know she's gonna wake up. I know it, so I shouldn't worry. I can't worry because I have to be strong. I have to be strong so that when she wakes up, it'll be like nothing happened. So we can go back to being the way things were. Right? Be strong. So I can tell her how much we care about. So I can tell her how much.